Hey everyone, this is the Untwisted Voice. Thanks for stopping by and watching my video blog. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. What today's video is about is feeling bored when you're on the road to recovery and you're trying to do something about your alcoholism, trying to change your life. Why do some people or why do you, maybe at this time, are feeling an overwhelmed feeling of boredom? And I'm not talking about the boredom is that you go into a doctor's office and you're waiting for your appointment. I'm not talking about that kind of boredom or the kind of boredom when you're going to a grocery store and you're just waiting in the line and you're just bored like that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about an overwhelmed feeling of boredom, like your life has come to a grinding, grinding stop. Bang! It just stopped. And why is that? Why do we feel like that? Well, if you're anything like me, when I drank, my life was full of a lot of chaos. I remember the bankers chasing me down. I really had nowhere to live. I was always jumping from couch to couch. I was unable to hold a job. I had women problems. I had financial problems. I had debt issues. I was having a whole bunch of problems. So when I drank, I had a lot of chaos in my life and I had all these adrenaline rushes caused from negative events, but also caused from positive events. So there was a lot going on in my life when I drank that was creating a lot of chaos and a lot of excitement in my life. Even if I didn't even know it, even the bad things were causing excitement in my life and making me feel alive. That hey, this is a great life for some reason. Meanwhile, everything's just, it's like a house of cards just falling down on my head. Life was pretty shitty when I drank at the end. So when I quit drinking, that lifestyle came to a grinding stop, but I was still left with myself in the results from that lifestyle. So I'm living sober, but my mind is sort of still back there. My mind is going quicker than my body, and I have this overwhelmed feeling of boredom. And I'm saying to myself, man, oh man, life was better when I drank, at least I had a life. Look at me now. I'm just a bump on a log with an unproductive life. And those kind of thoughts, if they come into your mind, will only do one thing, lead you to a drink. It is perfectly normal to feel bored just after or a few months after you quit drinking. Why wouldn't you? feel bored. You're not living the same lifestyle that you did before. The crazy thinking, the crazy behavior. You're not doing that anymore. Living on the edge. So that's one of the main reasons why you will feel bored. Because you're not living that crazy, crazy lifestyle. Another reason you may feel bored, I know the reason I felt bored, is the amount of time I did spend drinking. And not just physically drinking, talking about the party, talking about after party, and the actual physical drinking. I drank about six to eight hours a day, and I was always talking about the party afterwards, or what about that party you're going to? There was always sort of excitement in my life for about seven, eight hours a day, because the booze gave me that. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but it sure made sense to me. So you need to find ways to fill in that void because you will have a huge, huge void to fill in. In the recovery industry, they have a saying, 90 meetings in 90 days. One of the reasons they say that to people is to help them create new behaviors, but also to take in the time that they spent drinking to fill in that void. Keep yourself occupied. If you want to go in a 12-step program, a recovery program, they may suggest that to you. And that's one of the great things about the 12-step programs. It can help you fill in that void that you're missing when you quit drinking. So time, the amount of time that you drank is very important. Just sit there for a second and think about it. And that amount of time, you should be out there getting yourself involved in life. You can walk the dog, go out for dinner, go to the gym, call your mom, call your dad, call your sister, go to a 12-step program, go to therapy, start a new hobby. There's a lot of things you can do, but the worst thing you can do 
is sit on your duff. If you sit there long enough, you'll start feeling depressed. You'll start feeling unhappy, and you may even think that a drink will solve your problem. And let me tell you something, if you're an alcoholic, if you drank the way I did, a drink will solve nothing, zero. Doesn't matter how bored you are or how depressed you are, you need to walk through it and understand that what you're feeling is really, really normal. Reach out, find somebody you can talk to. Say, hey, Joe, I feel like crap, I feel bored. And they'll talk to you about it. Find a friend, somebody in recovery that can identify what you're going through. Because I'll tell you something, that's a great tool too, to lean on other people. Because that's another symptom of boredom, that we did a lot of things on our own. So interact with other people is a really, really great way to stop feeling bored. But the main thing I want to get through to you, all you people out there in YouTube land, is that feeling bored when you quit alcohol is really, really normal. Life changes when we quit any addiction. When we quit any addiction. And one of the biggest changes at the start is that life becomes calm. We're not doing the crazy behaviors that we did before, or we're working on the crazy behaviors that we did before, but we don't do it again. So that creates a peaceful life for ourselves. And that peace will start immediately after you stop drinking, because the chaos will stop. It really, really works. So you feel bored, get out there, open up the people. 90 and 90 meetings if you're in a recovery program. Go to therapy, do things to fill those voids in. Feeling bored is normal, drinking because of it is not normal. It really, really isn't. This is the untwisted voice of Terry G. And as usual, look after yourself because it shows. Have a great day and remember, one day at a time and I'll see you next time. Oh, one last thing. Can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. Thanks a lot.